After well over a year of passing one of these up on Facebook Marketplace, I finally saw one pop up again and quickly acted on it. This one wheel pint. I had to buy a bunch of safety gear, you know, knee pads, and um, then I had to get some elbow pads. This is all one sort of package that I got together. The helmet was separate and uh, some gloves and some wrist guards. Um, these one wheel pints, they go pretty quick. This looks like I'm going a lot faster than I am. I'm just actually not going fast at all. But top speed of these things is 26 kilometers an hour, 16 miles for you Americans. And has a total range of 10 to 13 kilometers or six to eight miles on a two hour charge. That motor that holds, uh, that uh, propels it, the 750 watt motor and can support a rider up to 225 pounds. And um, that one wheel weighs 23 pounds. So when you don't dismount properly, um, it tends to bash your ankles a lot, which is why they recommend wearing high tops and high top skate shoes because on the front of the board there's two sensors split down the middle. There's a left and a right sensor and basically how much you lean on those sensors, whether you're leaning forward for speed or lifting off to slow down or leaning left to go left or leaning right to go right. If you're wearing non-skate shoes that have a bit of a break between the sole, sometimes it doesn't uh, pick up that you're pressing down and accidents can happen so since then I have I do have some high top skate shoes that I picked up yesterday and uh, hopefully that'll eliminate the skin that seems to be disappearing right on my ankle bone <laughs> so anyways this is uh, technically on this part of the video as this is my third time around the block on this board the day before I did a solo run, just no camera, just to make sure I could do it. And um, the first lap that was in hyperlapse was mounted to my helmet. And after I did one lap around the block, I undid my Insta360 ONE X2 off my helmet and put it on the selfie stick for this part of the video. And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, I can't wait till this summer gets here and get a little better on this thing and take it somewhere else besides around my block. So I hope you uh, enjoy what you see here. It's, uh, this is about my mile eight completion, so enjoy. I'm going 100 miles an hour times two.
If they hate it, they a copy They drop everything to stop it But they way too, way too sloppy Creepy, creepy, crawly All these bitches creeping on me Now look Tony in the industry The way they sleeping on me If they hate this, they a copy If they hate this, they a copy Eggs are shaking like jello. <laughs> this is the longest run I've done. That what? So it's a good day. I skipped a bit of work to shoot this video, but uh, I've been working since five o'clock this morning, and it's I don't know 1:30 or something like that right now. So I put in a pretty good day as it is already. And uh, this is the first time with my X2 on the board. Actually, that's a lie. I did one shot in my yard on the grass. And uh, yeah, I think I got, I don't even have six miles on this thing yet, but it's, uh, we're getting there. These roads aren't the smoothest. There's lots of little bumps and divots and fun things to make you lose your balance. Still in the training mode on this thing. I think it's called Redwood. You can only do 12 miles an hour. And uh, I figured I'd get a few more miles under my belt before I bump it up to the next uh, uh, shaping zone, they're called, or shaping profile. But little bump. Keep her going. There we go. things that I really got to work on is my dismounts sometimes I get them and sometimes I don't most often I don't but it's something I'm working on so let's see if I can get it here no I can't well thanks for the ride